morning Elite Force parents and Elite Drag Queen students. We hope that this video is finding you well, staying healthy and strong, and keeping that indomitable spirit through these crazy times that we are all going through. Um, Shihan Melissa here, just sending out a quick video. Hopefully it's quick. I'm going to try not to be too long-winded on the curriculum we've been working on with our Elite Dragons. I hope this video can serve as a resource for your children to do something fun and physical at home. You can see I'm outside in my backyard. I was in my living room yesterday. Um, anywhere around the house you can do some fun physical activities. So I hope that you'll take advantage of that. And remember, we've been working really hard towards our new belt. So this curriculum review you can do at home. Practice so that when we get back in the dojo together, you're stronger than ever. So um, normally we do a quick warm up. Obviously, when we're in the dojo, we want to get our muscles moving, get our mind in that mindset of training. So we could do running in place. You could run around the room a couple times. I've got a tree. Maybe you do a couple laps around the tree, change direction, something fun like that. Parents, you could say, go. They run really, really fast. Freeze, just like we do in the dojo. Change direction, something fun, right? Just to get them moving, kind of get them in state. After that, simple warm-ups that they can do on their spot is our punching jacks. I like the number 10. It's simple to get to, right? And it's also a good number. So we're going to do our punching jacks. Two, ma'am. Three, ma'am. Four, sir. Whatever parent is out there showing them the video, I think that your child could definitely respond to you as if you were the coach or the instructor. So that yes, sir, that yes, ma'am attitude, we want that to be going on at home as well as inside the dojo, right? We don't want to lose that mindset. Second warm-up, really simple stuff. Let's practice our kicking skills. Our hands are up in guard. Maybe we lift our leg. Maybe we challenge ourselves and we try to kick as many times as we can without falling down. If we do fall down, oh well, we get back up. We have that indomitable spirit, right? Another exercise we could do is really simple. Just take your feet shoulder width apart. Let's jump on the, or put our hands in the ground, jump up and clap. We can do 10 of those. That's gonna be good. It's gonna get their heart rate warmed up and it's gonna be something to get their legs strong. And again, it's fun, right? We're moving, we're jumping, all those things that kids like to do. And then our final fourth exercise that we can do for warm-up is our inchworms. We've been doing this in class, so we would take our time, walk your hands out right in front of you, do one black belt push-up, walk back, and jump. Five of those are pretty sufficient considering they're still little guys. They're building their upper body strength, so five of those inchworms would be plenty good. Um, going towards our curriculum, we've been working on our four count kicking, so that's basically two front kicks, one off of each leg, and then two side kicks, same thing, going in different directions. So I'm going to quickly review that again try to make it a short video, but you can practice this as many times as you would like at home, okay? So I'm gonna turn this direction, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can follow along. We start from our position, hands are gonna come up. Number one is the right leg, we kick forward. One, ma'am, left leg. Two, ma'am, we put that foot down and slightly pivot. Right leg is gonna be three, ma'am. Other leg is four, ma'am. And position, we set we courtesy. Maybe we change direction up and that's gonna help us remember right leg is one, left leg is two, right leg is three, left leg is four. So position, hands are up. One man, you can call the count parents. Two, two sir, right leg. Three ma'am, other leg. Four sir, sir, and position. Set, courtesy, that is the four count kicking. Now kids can also practice their front kicks in a variety of ways. Maybe we put our hand on the wall, we lift our hand up, in guard, we lift our knee up and one ma'am, two ma'am. This is easy stuff, right? Maybe we challenge ourselves and we do pumping kicks. So hands up, one, two, one, two, three. Maybe we go all the way up the ladder, right? So there's a variety of things that we can do to practice our forms, our stuff that we know, our kicks, our skill, all those things that we've been working hard on. We've also been working on our eight count blockings. So kicking skills, now we're going to blocking skills. Remember our blocks, we take away those punches that someone is aiming at our heads, our Sides of our heads are our belly. So we're gonna drop in our horse stance. Aya! Block number one is our inward block. So again, oops, let me turn this way. You can follow along. Horse stance, number one. One ma'am, two, two ma'am, outward. Three, three ma'am, four, four ma'am, upward. Five ma'am, six ma'am, downward. Seven ma'am, and eight ma'am. We would finish low and strong. Set in courtesy. Finally, let's finish with our self-defense. We've been working on our front choke defense. We've done it where we're in spot, in place, standing still. Someone puts their hands around our neck. We know right away, boom. Let's keep our airway open. Chin goes down, arms come up, and we crash. This week, we're adding on if someone puts their hands on your throat and they're pushing you. You want to stop 
in that base, just like when someone grabs our arms and they pull us and we get strong forward, or maybe they just push us back, we do the same thing. We're gonna get our base. Same move, chin goes down, arms come up, but now when we smash, we're gonna do a knee, boom, at the same time, and then we follow with a punch. So watch from this direction, parents. You could put your hands around the neck, you would send them back, they would step strong. Chin goes down, arms go up, we smash, and knee, boom, hands up and guard, follow with a punch. Again, we can do this in form. All these things can be done in form. Have fun, get creative, and parents, please let us know if your child is participating at home. We would love to give them class credit. We'd love more than anything to be with you in the dojo, but we're gonna do our best to keep in contact, continue to inspire, and hopefully be a resource for you and your family until we can be back together. So until then, virtual hugs, virtual high fives, um, hugs and punches, see you soon on the mat.